boys and girls. So today we're gonna to be talking more about traveling and what we might be taking with us when we go from one place to another. And how we're gonna do that for our read aloud is to talk about a story that we already have read. Do you remember the story of the three little pigs? Perfect, yes. They live at home with their mom and then they decide that they wanna go and build a house of their own. And look, they're each carrying their own backpack with them with some things that they think they might need and what are they building their house to protect them from the wolf exactly and they're trying to escape that wolf because what happens with that wolf what does the wolf want to eat them devastation wolf all right so what I want you to be thinking about is as we're reading, which you kind of know the story, so you can help me tell it. And as they're um, moving from their mom's house into their own houses and running to each other's houses, I want you to be thinking of what they might be taking with them to help them to live and travel. All right. All right, let's go. This story is called The Three Little Pigs. The Three Little Pigs. Oh, that's not a baby that we read. Okay, here we go. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. They lived with their mother on the farm. One fine spring day, Mother Pig said, Little pigs, it is time for you to go out to the big world. So the three little pigs started off happily down the road. Jiggity jig, jiggity jig. Three little pigs. Each pig decided to build a house of their own. Hmm. Soon a farmer with a wagon full of straw came down the road. The little pigs moved to the side of the road to let the wagon pass. Then the first little pig oinked. Wait, Mr. Farmer, may I have some of your straw? I will build my house of straw. The farmer gave the little pig a big pile of straw. The farmer, whoo, there's a bug, went on down the road and the little pig hurried to build his new house. It was soon done, a cozy spot to rest and the little pig went out to play. The other little pigs continued on the road. Jiggity jig, jiggity jig, two little pigs. Sorry kids, there's a bug messing with me. They looked high and low for something to use to build their houses. After a while, the two pigs saw a man with a wagon full of sticks. Wait, Mr. Farmer, oinked the second little pig. May I have some sticks? I will build at my house of sticks. The farmer gave the little pig a pile of sticks. Thank you, sir, oinked the second little pig. The farmer waves and he went down the road. The little pig hurried to build his new house. He couldn't wait to complete the job. Soon the stick house was done and the little pig discovered an inviting puddle. The other little pig continued down the road. Jiggity jig, one little pig. He wanted to find something exceptional for building his house. Finally, the pig saw a builder with a wagon load of bricks. Wait, Mr. Builder, oinked the third little pig. May I have some bricks? I will build my house with bricks. The builder gave the little pig a stack of bricks. The builder went on down the road and the little pig began the slow process of building his new house. He carefully lined up each brick and made a fine, sturdy house. When it was done, the little pig went out to find his brothers. Early the next morning, there was a knock on the door at the first pig's house of straw. Little pig peeked out the window. It was the big bad wolf. Knock, knock, knock. Little pig, little pig, let me come in or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. The pig scooted under his chair. He took a deep breath and shouted in the strongest voice he could muster. No, Mr. Wolf, I won't let you in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. The wolf began to blow. He huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in. Little pig ran away. The pig scampered to the stick house of pig too. The two little pigs rushed inside, slammed the door and locked it. They put their arms around each other and hid under the table. 
The big bad wolf was very hungry, especially after blowing down the straw house. He followed pig one to the little stick house and knocked on the door. Knock, knock, knock. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Pig one and two remained huddled together under the table. They looked at each other nervously, took a deep breath and said, no, Mr. Wolf, we won't let you in. Not by the hair on our chin, chin, chins. The hungry wolf began to blow. He huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in. Pig one and two ran to the house of pig three. The three pigs hurried inside the little brick house and locked the door. The big bad wolf was very hungry, especially after blowing down the straw and stick house. He hurried after the little pigs to the brick house. But this time he didn't hesitate. He marched up the door and knocked. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. The three pigs huddled together under the bed. Pig three's house was their last hope. They looked at each other, took a deep breath and shouted, no, Mr. Wolf, we won't let you in. Not by the hair on our chinny chin chins. So the wolf began to blow. He huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed. But the little big brick house was so strong and the wolf could not blow it down. The hungry wolf did not give up. He climbed onto the top of the brick house. He looked down the chimney. Little pigs, little pigs, I'm going to come in. The wolf slipped into the chimney, but Pig 3 heard the wolf on the roof. Pig 3 crawled out from under the bed and quickly removed the lid from the big pot simmering over the fire. Splash! The big bad wolf stepped down into the boiling soup. Eow! He was so surprised that he sprang back up the chimney and ran away into the woods. The three little pigs clapped their hands. The wolf was gone and now they could enjoy their dinner. They sat down together to enjoy a hot bowl of soup. The pigs never saw the big bad wolf again and they lived happily ever after in pig three stay big house. The end. Round of applause. Awesome. So I'm gonna actually go back to the beginning of the story because, oh, wrong way because I want to talk about what we think the pigs needed when they moved out of their mom's house. So, like we talked about, you saw that they built their houses and then they lived in them. Now they each brought their own bag. What are some things that you think the pigs brought in their backpacks when they moved away from their mom's house? Oh, and why do you think they took that with them? Mm, yep, makes sense. And what else do you think they took with them in their backpacks? Oh yeah, I bet they took that with them too. Now they each stopped and grabbed some materials to build their own house. Sorry, I'm trying to find. Uh -huh. So we'll just look here. So inside they are hiding underneath the bed. Now he didn't travel, the pigs didn't travel with their bed, right? They had to order their furniture or not, I just gave away an answer maybe, to get their furniture from somewhere. Now, besides a bed, what other pieces of furniture do you think they might need? Right, they might need a couch, they might need a TV, a TV stand, maybe a table to eat that eat at. Yep, they need lots of furniture to fill up these houses. So what I want you to tell me below is where do you think they got this furniture and how do you think it got to them? Hmm, let me know below.